come up here, let's save. Uh, seeing such a strange laboratory filled with determination, bam. We're going to go into the laboratory entrance. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? Yes. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, oh, oh no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can't I just slide it back out? No, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. What was that? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. I had no idea you um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did. After all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this? And so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Oh. Oh, shoot. She thinks that I wrote it. Okay, I guess we're going on a date with Alfie's? Dating start. Uh, sorry. It, I'm still getting dressed. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, um, anyway, let's do this thing. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome of the date, right? Anyway, no, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Um, well, how about... Okay, so these are all gifts she had planned for Undyne. This is a magical spear repair kit that I... Um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the day. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Okay. This is about as awkward as I thought it would be. Uh, do you like anime? <laughs> sure. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Okay. I was hoping I'd never come back to this place. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Uh, she's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Yeah. Have you at least seen her? Yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I uh, just figured, y you know, it'd be f f fun to go on, like, a cute kind of, uh, pretend date with you to, to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse than I put it when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. N not that you are. Um, cool. But, Undyne. She's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. 
I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. Eh. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the tr truth? I d don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? <laughs> Let's role play it. R role play? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I'll be Undyne. Uh, I'll be Undyne. Oh, right. Obviously. Heh. <laughs> Ahem. Hi, Undyne. How are you today? I'm fine. Ha ha. Glad to hear it. Um, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. What is it, Alfie's? Um, you see, I, 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 I haven't been exactly truthful w w with you. Y you see, I, I... Oh, forget it. I'm dying. I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and so strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about n n n nerdy stuff. Y you always did to do your best to make me fe f feel special. L like t t telling me that y y you'll be beat up anyone that g g gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. <laughs> and then Undyne shows up. What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two... On a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but, I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne, I, I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like, oh really, I just want uh, to make ice cream and those human history books, they're, those are just dorky comics and the history movies, those those are just uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt, Alfie's. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser, Alfie's. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alfie's. Shh. What? Alfie's. I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alfie's, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? Of course... What? Me? Oh, no. Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Oh, no. Get those bones shaking. It's time to jog 100 laps hooting about how great we are. 
Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Un Undyne, I'll do my best. She's still in a garbage can. Oh my god, she was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Um, yes, anime is real. Ha ha ha, I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alfie's. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Okay. And we're back down here in the garbage dump. What an interesting turn of events, huh? So, partaking in worthless garbage fills you with determination. So I wonder... Do we go to our lab now? Let's go to our lab and see. It's just odd. I don't know. It feels odd. Oh, ring. Howdy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Alfie's and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. Oh, to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. That's odd and specific. Okay, so we gotta get to Hotland. Do I have to walk? Yes. I guess I can take the boat. Get back on the boat for the last time in the whole game? Probably? Yes. Please, let's get this done. Hotland. Not that I'm not enjoying myself. I am. I had that little bit of a struggle last episode. Well, it was a lot of bit of struggle. I heard Asgore has a favorite food. Okay. Thanks. I don't know if these are tips that they give you or just random things that they say. Alright, we made it. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Yep. Probably won't, actually. Seeing such a strange laboratory. Da 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 da. Let's save. Bam. Okay, here we go. Into the lab. Okay, everything looks the same as the first time. Alright. Oh! Is that a note? It's a note from Alfie's. Read it? Read. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Oh, what the heck's going on, Alfie's? Is this an elevator? Oh, earlier this was her bathroom, remember? She had to suddenly run to the bathroom. Warning, warning. Oh, crap. Elevator losing power. EM tether stability loss. Altitude dropping. Oh, what the freak just happened? Oh, no. I'm getting flashbacks to the... That extra battle we got after the final boss. Okay. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. Look at this place. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only come from can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Uh-oh. Is this gonna get really dark? Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host, and unlikely. Unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. 
Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Mmm, okay. That's why I keep saying that the whole game to us. Oh. Got some alternate music going on here. Let's save. True laboratory? Buy chips for 25 gold? No, we're good. We got healing items. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator. Lost power. Enter the center door. That's all you could read. Can I go through the other doors? No. Of course not. Let's check left really quick. Oh, another computer screen. Entry 6. Askor asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Uh-oh. The music's all distorted, too. Ooh, I don't like this. Entry 9. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Those are examination tables. What the heck? Look, another note. There's a note. I can't make it all out. Drain. Dropped it. That's all you can read. What? It's some kind of switch. There's a red colored slot in the center. Okay. This is creepy. There's a little bit of fog in there. The true laboratory. Yeah, this game's a little going a little different way than I thought. Oh. Power room. I can't get into the power room. What's the deal? It's a fake plant, okay? I'm just looking around to see if there's anything in them. Fake plant, okay? Okay, we're looking for something. Maybe I had to keep going over here. Let's go down and left more. There we go. Can I go down? No. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. Oh. What? Uh, did a ghost just come out of the drain? Oh, crap. What in the freak are those? Those are horrific looking. It doesn't even give me a name what they are. It just said Drew Near. Uh, let's... Um... What's cell? Let's try cell. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Oh, I don't... I don't oh, I don't like this. Oh, they like sprout. Okay. But nobody came. Let's join. Become one of us. You'll be with us shortly. Come join the fun. Oh, I don't like this. Okay. Smells like batteries. Let's refuse. It's a real get together. Laura. What? There's some weird crap going on right now. Big time. Seems like it doesn't care anymore. We can spare it. You won. Oh, there's a red key lying in the sink. You took it and put it on the keychain. Let's go save first. I want to save our healing items for if there's another big boss fight. This is weird. What a change in tone. I like it. But you're also talking to a guy who likes a lot of horror games because of the psychological weirdness of them. It's different, that's for sure. Okay, click. The red key fits perfectly in the slot. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here. Hmm, so we have all sorts of... That was like an abomination look at things. That didn't even look normal. Oh, we still can't go through. Okay, now we gotta go through this door. Entry number 12. 
Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everyone with determination. I want this to work. Okay, that's probably not good. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Okay. It's an empty dog food bowl. Oh, she had dog food in her laboratory. Did it ever explain what happened to the old scientist? The clock is broken. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all waking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners? This is creepy. The bedroom? Is there anything down here in the corner? No fake plants. Okay. Let's go right. Okay, it's a mirror. Entry 7. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? <gasps> Those are flowers! Golden flower. Okay, I think I know where they're going with this. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Who else do we know that's a golden flower? Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Another monster. Look at that. Okay, you can kind of tell the monsters this one came from. Um, let's... Let's, uh... I don't know. Well, we, okay, so it's checking to see if you remember what these monsters do in the base game. That's genius. Let's, uh... Let's pray. I don't think that's right, though. It remembers its conscious. Oh, see? You can't... It's like two people talking once. What the... What is that? What is it doing? What is it doing? That was odd. Okay, and then the other thing is, uh... Don't you have to pick on it? You pick on, it seemed effective. Yep, okay, so it's like remembering- Oh! Oh gosh, that's messed up! What the freak is going on? Okay, we can't spare it yet, so now we have to, um, I don't know, clean it? You wash your hands, nothing happened. Well, that was a waste of time. Oh, these, these are messed up fights. I love it. That's way disturbing, but I dig it. Let's mystify. You did something mysterious. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Ribbit, ribbit, courage. Oh, it's like a bunch of stuff. Oh, crap, but then we have to go through the butterfly thing again. Ah, I knew I was gonna get hit right there. That wasn't my finest. Okay. Spare. You won. This is weird, man. Okay, did it drop? Did it drop something? I probably should check. No. Okay, we need a blue one in here. Right. So, that was creepy. It's almost like a old school, I don't know, kind of getting like some obviously much not not as intense, but you know, Resident Evil-ish vibes. Entry number 15. Seems like this research is a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Ascor, returned the vessels to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Smiley face. Uh-oh. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Oh, great. What's happening? Um, let's go up through here. Oh, it's making me walk slow. Oh, uh, that's getting faster. Oh, there it is. And something's gonna jump me. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it on your keychain. Bye! That was creepy. I don't know what was up with that. However, I feel like whatever it was is gonna come after us. Actually, let's go back up. I know this is probably risky, but we're gonna go right. It was green anyway. Oh, I don't like this. Are these pellets? That's like what the flower uses. Entry number 11. 
Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask me when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. This is kind of freaking me out a little bit because... Oh, there's a switch on the wall. Press it. Yes, all those fans are going to come on. Okay, ventilation seems to be on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Monster. What in the heck is that thing? It's the... Amalgamate? This creepy music that plays with them is awesome. Okay, Amalgamate. Let's ignore it. You try looking away, but it seems to appear everywhere you look. Uh-oh. So it's a dog, and then its face opens, and it goes, oh, and then it shoots souls out? Great. Just what we needed. Okay. So let's pet it? It's too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Yeah, that, oh, oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, no. No, just, just leave me alone. Oh, it hit me. Let's beckon with it. You call the amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flicking a strange liquid from an orifice. Oh. I love how messed up this is. Like, I really, I really do. I think it's pretty awesome. That's such a dark turn. Okay. Um, now can we pet it because it's closer? You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Z suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. No, not this. Not this. No. No, just just leave me alone. It's it's okay. I don't want to pet you anymore. And then and then what do we do? We, do we play with it? You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now it's very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. Oh no 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 no! I don't like this. I just got hit twice. Ah. Can I spare it yet? No. Now I pet it again? It starts to generate a st stage one happiness froth. Oh, please no. Just go away. Oh, I don't like this. It's getting faster. It convulses and its convulsions intensify. Uh, pet it again? Oh, you pet decisively. Seems to be satisfied by all this. Oh, look at all the faces on it. That's kind of creepy. Let's spare it. Okay. Good boy, I guess. That was weird, and I loved it, actually. Okay, let's go down here. Let's save before anything else happens. Alright, let's try to hurry and get down here to that. I thought there was something at the end of this hall. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Because, yeah, we fought something we couldn't... There we go. It's some kind of switch. There's a blue colored slot. Oh, I have green. That's right. So I gotta go a different way. I should have remembered that. Yeah, I, I'm guessing this is gonna be the origin story for the uh, the flower. And he put him in Ascor's garden, so that kind of makes sense. Did we go up and then left? I'm not. Let's go over here really quick. So the newest entry we read is no, 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 basically. Oh, I don't like... Oh, does that look familiar? Oh, and the save point's a monster. That's clever. That is really clever. What the freak is that? Smells like sweet lemons. Lemon... Lemon bread is the name of it? Oh, that thing is freaky. Let's flex. You flex your arm. Lemon... His muscle shakes. Welcome to my special hell. What the... Oh... You get between the teeth, I guess? This is weird. What? Okay. It smells like sweet lemons. Let's, um... Let's... I don't know. Hum? You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. But nobody came. Oh, what the... What the? Oh, I don't, I don't understand. Oh, it switches between move and don't move. That's cheap. Can I beat him, or am I gonna die? Let's, let's try again. Um, lemon bread. 
we, we have to flex again, remember? You have to flex twice for those one. Oh, nothing else happened. Well, I guess the rules are a little different with him. As they probably should be. Oh, and if you fly into the... Oh, why did I do that? Game over. Got killed by a freaky lemon monster. <laughs> you can't give up just yet. Billy! Billy, let's not die anymore. Please. Okay. You can go right up here. We'll do that again. So, I think, yeah, this is definitely all adding up to the flower thing because that body, that cavity that was sitting there above the so-called save station. And let's go up here first. Uh, we need yellow. We're probably going to beat that guy. There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Let's watch tape one. Psst, gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Er, and why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest. What is my favorite vegetable? Hmm. Carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. He, he, he. Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. Oh, is this Asgore and Tariel, like early years of their life, and she's saying she's pregnant? Is that what's going on? Ho, ho, ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamadian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey. Come on, Tori. That's... That one was funny. Ha ha ha, I know. I am just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, oh dear. Perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Oh, that's funny. And then we're right back in the creepiness. Let's do tape two. Now I'm intrigued. Okay, Billy. Are you ready? Oh. Do your creepy face. Ah, hee hee hee. Oh, wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not gonna do it again? Come on, quit tricking me, haha. -ha. Why did it say my name? Howdy, Billy. Smile for the camera. Ha, huh, this time I got you. I left the cap on, on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason, he he he. What? Oh yeah, I remember. When we tried to make butterscotch pie for dad, right? The recipe asked for four cup for cups of butter, but we accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad we made mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. This is weird. I don't know why it's saying our name. Tape 4. I, I don't like this idea, Billy. What? N no, I'm not. Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you, Billy. Never. Yeah, we'll be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Oh, is the other? Is this? Is this their son? Um, what was his name? I can't remember right now, but they had a son. Remember, and he took that human that was his friend to the surface, who was like a, a sibling to him. Oh, and a, oh, was that person's name the same as mine? Interesting. Billy, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Billy, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Yep, that's exactly what's going on right now. This is Billy, I guess was the name of the other human who was their son's friend that he went to the surface with and got killed. Psst, Billy, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I, no, I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six, and we'll do it together, right? Six? Is it six souls? I don't, I don't understand. Entry number four. 
I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Ascor's watched them. I don't think he should. Oh. Is there like an alternate story going on there? Weird. Okay, let's fight this stupid monster again. Okay, so we need to flex. We know we gotta get one of those in. You flex your arm, lemon bread's muscle shakes. Welcome to my special hell. Ah, dang it. It's hard because you can get double tapped on those. Let's heal. I screwed up pretty bad, okay? Stay here with me. Let's let's not. What? I felt like I was What the heck? Oh my gosh, I'm doing terrible. Let's heal again. Ah, uh, that's what they they all say. I I swear I'm like down. Oh, I probably gotta get in that pocket. I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, not doing well on this one. Do you think I'm pretty? Not not necessarily. What on earth? Like this? You just avoid them, I guess. Oh, and you can't touch the white either. This is cheap. Do you think I'm pretty? Um. Not exactly. Okay, we gotta act. Let's, um... Don't scream. Let's... Hum? Let's hum. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon Bread's body shakes. But nobody came. Okay. So this part, I always take some damage right there at the beginning of it. I feel like I should heal. Because he's going to do the teeth thing again. Let's fully heal. Do you think I'm pretty? Oh, you could go back and forth like this. That's really hard, though. Okay. Let's... Let's, uh, cry. You cried as loud as you could, but nobody came. But nobody came. Let's just go out like this, and then around, I guess. You hear the melody of pulsating flesh. That is so messed up. Um, let's unhug. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. What? Oh, dang it. Could this be goodbye? Oh, I could spare him. You won. Thank goodness. I actually have use healing items on that. Let's go save. Man. I was crazy. It's kind of cool, though, that they morph some of the monsters together so that you kind of have, like, a, a hybrid fight. Because then you kind of have to look at their, <clears throat> excuse me, their features and decide, okay, what strategy am I going to take? It's kind of cool. That thing is messed up. Is it going to tell us what it is? D DT Extraction Machine. Status inactive. Oh... Determination Extraction Machine? So that's like a messed up machine. Did he take on the shape of all this stuff that was done to him? Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Okay? It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Ascor left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Ascor. Okay, there's something in that fridge. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. What? Entry number 21. I spend all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Okay, fridge with samples. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Okay, we're probably going to get jumped. Yep. There it is. Let's fight. I love how these are all just messed up and disturbing. And the music's all distorted. Oh, it's awesome. Let's, uh, let's... Let's joke, I guess? You told a bad pun about Snow. Her expression starts to shift. Ha ha, I remember. Uh oh, what are you doing? What are you... It's so cold. Let's laugh. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny. You can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that. Snow. Oh, we. What in the. What? 
Smells like salty slush. Let's let's heckle. You said something like, "You look horrible. Why are you even alive?" What? You didn't say that? Snowy. What? Okay. Let's joke again. You told a bad pun about snow. Our expression changes more. Haha, -ha, thank you. This is bizarre. Let's joke one more time. You told a bad pun about snow. She's a completely she's completely calmed down. You won. That was weird. Oh, there's a blue key. Okay. Put it on your keychain. This will probably be the green one. Yep. Throw the green one in. Perfect, got the green one done. Now let's go put the blue one back in, and then I think there was one more. We're probably gonna get a jump bike. It's a refrigerator, it's empty. What the heck? We're gonna get jumped right here. No? There's still something else around, definitely. Why else would that fridge be doing that? That's creepy. Okay, that's the bathtub. Let's not go there. That gives me some Resident Evil vibes. Oh yeah, just come up to this tub. It'll be perfectly safe. Let's save. Go over here to where the blue one is. Okay. Almost there. Come on now. Here we go. Now something will happen because I just did the blue key. Okay. Watch the mirrors. This game likes to put subtle stuff in the background sometimes. Nothing, huh? Okay. Can we open that main deal yet? Can we go back over there and see? Maybe we didn't explore everything. I swear there were four colors, but I'm not sure. We'll just peek really quick. Yeah, we still need yellow. Dang it. It says it's on this side, though. Right? Is that what that means? That means yellow's over here somewhere? Did we miss it? I mean, maybe not. Maybe it is in that other way, but it's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. I'm just going to check these and see if a monster comes from them. They're all sticky, okay? Turned on the sink. Turned on the sink. Turned on the sink. What is this? Something? Okay. Okay, so I guess they... I guess that the yellow must be down that other corridor. Let me jump over there. 